Saludos a toda la afición de la Lucha Libre. Este que les habla es Michael Morales Torres, integrante del equipo de Lucha Libre Online. Y tengo el honor de presentarles a mi invitada en la tarde de hoy, directamente desde Hackettstone, New Jersey, la virtuosa Deona Purazzo. Deona, how are you doing today? I'm good. How are you guys? Everything's great here in Puerto Rico. Uh, Diona, for us, it's such an honor to have you as our guest. We've had interview, uh, interview Charlotte Flair in the past, uh, Billy Kay, and a few WWE wrestlers. But I think so far you are uh, one of the most uh, in-ring performers, gifted in-ring performers that we had the opportunity to interview on that exact range show. We're really excited to have you as our guest. Uh, first of all, oh, thank you. Yeah, no, no, no problem. Uh, first of all, uh, how are things for Diona Purazzo doing under this quarantine? Are you still living in Florida? Um, yeah, so I'm still in Orlando, and luckily during um, like this pandemic and quarantine, Florida hasn't been too bad. Um, we can still like leave the house and do things like that, so it hasn't been too bad. I'm okay. Um, you know, comparatively, my family is in New Jersey, so it's been a little bit more tough for them. Um, but they're healthy. We're healthy, so. Yeah, that's the important part, that everyone stays healthy. New Jersey is actually one of the principal places in the United States with the highest number of coronavirus for our Spanish-speaking yeah. fans. New Jersey is one of the de las ciudades con el mayor número de casos de coronavirus en Estados Unidos y ahí está la, la familia de Diona en estos momentos. Nos menciona que gracias a Dios está todo bien con ella y con su familia y que todos están saludables. Diona, it's re really good to know that you and your family are staying safe under this uh, quarantine. But let's talk about uh, the big news that uh, unfortunately everyone received under this uh, circumstances. Uh, many wrestlers under WWE contract and NXT contracts uh, were released. Uh, we read, unfortunately, your name, and it was a huge surprise for everyone because you were active on NXT. We saw you on Raw. You were on main event. You were basically everywhere. Uh, do you have any idea why this happened? I mean, there were so many names, and no one was expecting Deona Purazzo's name. Yeah, I think, um, you know, I'm, and I've touched on it a lot over the last two weeks, but um, I wasn't very creatively satisfied in NXT, and I was very vocal about um, being unhappy and the potential of me leaving anyway. So I think that with all of these cuts, um, just knowing that I wasn't happy and knowing that I had wanted to maybe leave anyway put me on that list. Um, and that's okay, because I, I was open to the idea of, asking to be released from NXT anyway, so I, I think they just took that into consideration. Okay, so as many wrestlers at this point, you were creatively frustrated uh, due to the maybe the, the quantity of chances or the ideas pitch. Uh, did the the NXT production staff gave you the opportunity to pitch some ideas? Yeah, I had tons of opportunity to pitch a ton of ideas, and, um, you know, not only just with my virtuosa persona, but as a tag team with Chelsea Green, um, and, and we called ourselves VXT, um, that also, there was an idea for it to be like a trio with Rachel Evers, um, there was a ton of ideas thrown around, um, but unfortunately just nothing really stuck for me. Okay, uh, and regarding your, your Raw debut specifically, Uh, you were uh, one of the few wrestlers that had the opportunity to go up onto what they call the main roster and face uh, wrestlers like Asuka, like Nia Jax at one point. Uh, how was that experience for you compared to your experience in NXT? Um, they're both two complete different worlds. So when you go to NXT, everything is kind of managed by all the same people. So at the Performance Center, you're training with your coaches, who then are also producing TV. Um, you go to the main roster, and you go to Raw, or you go to SmackDown, and the people that are helping produce the main roster shows only see you that one day a week. So there's a little bit more free range, there's a little bit more leniency 
Um, and I had so much fun in those, you know, six or eight weeks that I got to go to Raw because I was in the ring with Asuka um, or Sarah Logan or Nia Jax. And um, they weren't necessarily squash matches um, before I wrestled Nia. Um, but I got to actually wrestle and showcase myself in, in quite a few of those matches. So it was a lot of fun and, and definitely, like, that was my Raw dream come true to debut against Asuka and to have it be competitive. Excellent. I specifically remember that match, and uh, I think it was the week after your partner Chelsea, uh, Chelsea Green uh, made her debut. As a friend, what, what, how did you felt at that moment seeing your friend achieving her dream uh, just as you did? Yeah, it's it amazing. And I think we were both really fortunate that we got to do it together um, because we have just been through so much together up until that point, and all of last year and the beginning of this year was um, so unsettling for both of us that to be able to get that big moment and to be there for each other um, just meant so much to me and I know Chelsea the same, so um, I was so happy to be able to see her live her dream, and her fiancé, Zach Ryder, um, Matt Cardona, he was there, and just people that we consider family got to be there in those moments for us. Which makes it even greater than it's, it's supposed to be. I mean, uh, making a debut in uh, the moment of the biggest uh, platform available, it's amazing. But having your friends and your family around makes it even more special. And you had the, exactly. the opportunity to do it. Uh, regarding the, your matches um, in NXT, you face a few names like, uh, for example, Io Shirai, Dakota Kai. You had the opportunity to perform in NXT UK against Rhea Ripley, uh, among many other mm -hmm. wrestlers, uh, where you had the opportunity to showcase your talent, uh, such as you did in the NXT live events uh, against wrestlers like, for example, Caden Carter. Uh, how was mm -hmm. that experience for you, and which is... Uh, your most memorable opponent during your WWE run? Um, I think it would be Caden Carter. Um, because we just got to wrestle so much um, on the NXT live events um, that it, it was just so fun because we kind of knew each other. We could not really you know, talk too much about it and we just could go out there and have fun with each other because we were so comfortable. So, Definitely Caden Carter. Um, I wrestled Chelsea quite a bit before we were a tag team, so of course she's my best friend. I love that. Um, and Tony Storm is another one. I, I just got to have one match with her um, for NXT UK, but she's a great friend of mine, and we we just have very much similar styles in the ring, so it was really fun to, to do that um, for NXT because we've gotten to do it before in Japan. Awesome. And speaking of uh, basically traveling the whole world, you, before signing yeah. WWE, traveled the whole world. I remember you made your debut in Puerto Rico for WWL, I think it was 2016. Do you remember that moment? Yeah, I do. Um, it was it was crazy. So my trainer, Damian Adams, and I um, were originally just coming to Puerto Rico for vacation. And he has family, his dad and his stepmom live there. So um, we weren't ever supposed to wrestle there, but that was definitely like a bucket list thing for me to do because growing up you hear so many stories about, you know, these old school wrestlers going to Puerto Rico and living there and the crazy fans that you guys have. And um, to be able to experience that was something I've dreamt about since I was a kid wanting to be a wrestler. So it was really cool to be able to spend the weekend wrestling in Puerto Rico. Awesome. Uh, actually, you have also had the opportunity to showcase your talents uh, in other companies before WWE, such as Impact Wrestling. Uh, but specifically, Ring of Honor, you were a huge, huge part of their women division, Women of Honor specifically. Uh, at this point of your career, you are more experienced despite having only 25 years. You are incredibly experienced. You are incredibly talented in the ring. Uh, and you could be an asset to any single company that decides to hire you. You are basically one of the top three hottest free agents in the business right now, uh, all male and female, both actually. Have you uh, Thank had you the so much. Of course, have you had the opportunity <laughs> to sit down 
and think about the 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 quantity of alternatives that you have available right now. You have Ring of Honor, you have Impact Wrestling, you have AAA, CMLL, All Elite Wrestling. Uh, you have so many companies all around the the U.S., Mexico. You have companies in Japan, uh, Puerto Rico, Europe. Basically, every single country that that produces pro wrestling would kill to have someone like you in their company to push their women division. Have you had the opportunity to th uh, think about this? Yeah, I mean, you kind of named so many places that I had got to go before my WWE career. So I would love to go back to Impact and be able to work there. I would love to go to um, All Elite Wrestling, AEW, for the first time. Um, and then just travel the world. You know, I got to go to Japan and Australia and England and Canada and Puerto Rico. Um, I want to do it all again. I want to go to all of these places and, and just um, get back to the wrestler that I was before WWE and show the world really what I can do. Of course, and there are many places where you can do it. And you mentioned specifically one that basically everyone is asking themselves. All Elite Wrestling is an incredible platform. However, one of the weakest uh, points, that I think I'm not the only one that thinks this, but it's been discussed over and over, it's their women division. And at this point, it's mm -hmm. basically because multiple wrestlers doesn't have uh, the credibility uh, or didn't have the showcase to expose their talents and make a huge impact in that women division. But you are uh, experienced You had the opportunity to showcase your talents, uh, both in WWE and all around the, the world. Uh, have you specifically think about All Elite Wrestling as an option for Diona Purazzo in the future? Yeah, it's, I haven't spoken to anyone um, about it yet, just because I'm under um, like a 30 day non compete clause with WWE. But definitely, if AEW is interested, I would be interested to go there. Um, and You know, I have friends there, and I have girls that I've never worked with before, so I think it definitely is, um, if they're open to having me, I'm 100% open to going. That's That sounds... Uh Perfect. Uh, I think you're the person that can push their women division. And speaking of your future projects, Diona, uh, what can you tell us? Uh, what are you doing these days? Uh, we've seen multiple wrestlers open uh, their cameo, uh, their uh, their pro wrestling tees uh, store once again. And you actually had some cool designs over there. Uh, what are you doing right now? Uh, and what are your stores? Where can people get your merchandise? Where can people get your videos? Yeah, so um, I have a pro wrestling tea store. Um, that is pro wrestling tea.com forward slash Diana Perazzo. And then I also have my own merchandise store that has 8 by 10 gear, posters, trading cards, all that kind of stuff. It's um, Diana Perazzo dot bigcartel.com. Um, and I have some exciting um, news about a series that I'm going to be doing um, with Drew Cordero and Beyond Wrestling, um, uh, produced by um, IWTV. And it should be coming out within the next week or so. But we're going to be talking about um, all different stages of my career in each episode. So when episode one drops, it's going to be my training. Um, it's all about my training and just kind of getting my feet into wrestling a little bit. And we're watching some matches, we're answering some questions. Awesome. And on your social media, you have a pretty huge platform at this point. I saw a YouTube channel that, that is under your name. Is it yours? Yes. Um, the YouTube channel, I think it's just Diana Perazzo is mine. Um, I'm just going to kind of get into YouTube and, and building that channel. So um, if you see it, like it, subscribe it, add some comments. I'm just trying to get a feel for what content people want to see that I can create on my own. Well, definitely wrestling practices will be that thing. <laughs> da Damien Adams is an incredible trainer in the New Jersey area. Oh, uh, he you. actually trained uh, one uh, our, our champion. We have a company wrestling superstar, uh, which is owned by Hugo Savinovich, and Carissa Rivera is our women's champion uh, right now. And she mm -hmm. was trained by Damien Adams. You had the experience of wrestling her, right? Yes, I did. Um, I was 
Yes, quite a bit. We've trained together um, in over the last two years that she's been training with Damien. Um, when I get to go home to New Jersey, I train alongside Chris as well. Awesome. Uh, Diona, to all the promoters out there in Panama, Chile, Argentina, Spain, Puerto Rico, basically every single place that has a company uh, that wants the services of Diona Purazzo, specifically <laughs> our friends from DWE in Panama, which are trying to build <laughs> their women's division right now. Okay. They had Amber Nova. They're going to have Tenel Dashwood as soon as this gets better. Uh, to all the promoters out there, where can they contact La Virtuosa for her pro wrestling services? Um, so I have a email specifically for wrestling related everything. Um, and if you send an email to Diana Perazzo Bookings at gmail dot com, um, shoot me an email and we can discuss uh, for the wrestling date. Amazing, Diona. We thank you so much for your time. Uh, we know you're going to be more than successful in this new chapter of your life once everything comes back to normal under this pandemic situation. Uh, we wish you the best of luck and thank you so much for your time. It's been such an honor to have you as our guest. Oh, thank you so much for having me.